Let's see how to make magnets. Any magnetic material can become a magnet by magnetization. This is a steel substance. Observe this steel substance is not a magnet. With some process or method, this steel bar can be made into a magnet. The process of making a substance temporarily or permanently magnetic by insertion in a magnetic field is known as magnetization. There are four methods of making this steel bar into a magnet. Single touch method. Double touch method. Induction method. Electric method. Let's see what is single touch method. This is the steel bar. This is not magnet now. Here I am going to make this steel bar as a magnet by adopting single touch method. Let this end is A and this end is B of this steel bar. This is a magnet. This is the north pole and this is the south pole of the magnet. For identification purpose usually artificial magnets north pole colored as red and south pole colored as gray. In single touch method, hold magnet at N, A, of steel bar like this. With north pole of magnet, touching steel bar, gently rub steel bar from N, A, to end, B, like this. Now, lift up magnet and bring magnet to end A like this. Again rub steel bar from end A to end B. Repeat this process several times. After rubbing for many times, end A of steel bar becomes north pole and end B of steel bar becomes south pole. If south pole of magnet is used to rub steel bar, then N A of steel bar becomes south pole and end B of steel bar becomes north pole. Now this steel bar became magnet. Let's test this magnet. Take iron pins, and these pins are attracted by steel bar, which became a magnet. This time let us magnetize substance using double touch method. In single touch method magnetization done with single magnet. Now, in double touch method we need two magnets. Let us see how to magnetize this magnetic substance steel bar. Let this end is A and this end is B of this steel bar. And C is the center of magnet. Lift up magnet. Hold both magnets at center. With south pole of this magnet touching steel bar. A north pole of second magnet touching steel bar. From center C, rub both magnets like this. At ends, A, B, lift the magnets and bring both magnets to middle again. Repeat this process for many times. Since end, A, is rubbed with south pole of magnet, end, A, becomes north pole, and end, B, is rubbed with north pole of another magnet, end, B, becomes south pole. Now this steel bar became magnet. This is double touch method of magnetization. This time let us magnetize substance using induction method. Till now we rubbed magnets with steel bar to make it magnet. 
In induction method, steel bar is made into a magnet without any contact. Let us see how to magnetize this magnetic substance steel bar. Let this end is A and this end is B of this steel bar. This is a magnet. And this is its north pole and this is south pole. Now place south pole of this magnet side to side to steel bars A end. Observe magnet and steel bar are not touched. But steel bar is in magnetic field of magnet. Due to this, magnetic lines of force passes through steel bar. After a while, observe steel bar becomes a magnet. End A, which is side by side, to south pole of magnet, became north pole. And end B, which is away from south pole of magnet, became south pole. Now this steel bar became magnet. For better induction method of magnetization, following factors are to be considered. First, strength of the inducing magnet. This magnet should be more powerful. So that more magnetic field is induced into magnetic substance. Second, Magnetic induction is inversely proportional to the distance between magnet and the magnetic substance. If this distance is less, more magnetic field is induced into substance. If distance is more, less magnetic field is induced into substance. Third, nature of magnetic substance. Permanent magnetization depends on nature of magnetic substance. Let us take two types of magnetic materials. One is steel and other is soft iron. If the magnetic substance is steel, steel is a harder magnetic substance. When steel is placed in induction method, after a while it becomes magnet. And steel do not lose its magnetic property forever and became a permanent magnet. When soft iron is placed in induction method. After a while it becomes magnet. And soft iron loses its magnetic property after some time and behaves normally. So it is a temporary magnet. Substances like steel becomes permanent magnet, whereas soft iron becomes temporary magnet. This is induction method of magnetization. Now let's see electric method of magnetization. This is a steel bar, which is to be magnetized. In electric method no magnet is used, to magnetize magnetic substance. Let this end is A, and this end is B, of this steel bar. This is a copper wire, which has insulated protection around it. From this end, wind this wire around steel bar like this to this end now take some batteries connect this end of wire to positive terminal of battery and connect this end of wire to negative terminal of battery observe a switch is placed here if switch is open no electric current passes through wire if switch is closed, electric current passes through wire. Here electric current passes through wire in this direction. In a very short time steel bar behaves like magnet. With end A of steel bar as south pole. And 
and B of steel bar is north pole. Here, this steel bar acts like a magnet until electric current passes through copper wire. If switch is opened, no current passes. And steel bar acts normally without any magnetic property. Again, if switch is closed, steel bar again acts like a magnet. Here, steel bar is temporarily magnetized as long as electric current passes through copper wire. This type of temporary magnets are called electromagnets. The principle of electromagnets is a wire carrying electric current behaves like a magnet. This is an electric method of magnetization. Till now we saw how to magnetize a magnetic material.